stole my wife's cardigan and it is cozy. <laughs> Last time it snowed at my house, I was inspired to do a film shoot in the forest. It had been snowing for about a week or so, and finally it was a sunny day, and really the conditions were just too perfect. At first, I had an idea for two characters that I wanted to do. The first one being this elven character, all like ethereal and walking through the forest, on, you know. Yeah, you get the picture. The second idea was a rogue running away from something through the woods to get away. And uh, in the end, I ended up going with that one because it was the easiest costume and makeup, especially makeup, to put together and just get out there. Without further delay, I present to you Run, Rogue, Run. I just couldn't get that phrase out of my head while I was working on this, so it just, became the title. I'm kind of glad I ended up with that one because it lends itself more to the collaborative storytelling experience that I have been dying to jump in on on TikTok. So yay. I still don't have a name for this character, which I'm kind of embarrassed about because that is something I really, I pride myself in. I usually start with a name and let the character be built from that little, that concept, whatever that name means. You know, or I have an idea of the character and then I go and find the name that matches that idea. Uh, but yeah, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so uh, if you have any ideas after watching this little short, uh, put those names in the comments below and uh, thank you for helping me develop this character. After getting the footage in the can, I started editing and I realized that the special effects that I needed to tell the story was going to be a little more complicated than just, ah, let's take this, you know, transparent or green screen special effect and just layer it on top of the footage. No, it's, it wasn't going to be that. We needed to do some rotoscoping, which I have never done before. So as we do on this channel, we just jump into the deep end and learn new things. I went over to YouTube, watched a bunch of tutorials, and started working on it, trying to, you know, rotoscope, and wasn't quite getting it right. And luckily, my friend Mary Poplin from Boris Effects, she was kind enough to give me a full-blown tutorial, basically hold my hand through the process of how to pull off what I needed to do. And she also showed me a bunch of free resources to the public, which I'm also going to share with you down in the description below. So thank you so much for that. Getting out there and doing this creative project at the beginning of the year especially was just so fulfilling and exactly what I needed. And yeah, I would have had an easier time editing and rotoscoping if I had planned my shots specifically knowing that I would be walking through a big old portal, but <laughs> At least I know how to roto now. Oh, next video. I'm gonna be talking about that coat that I wore in the film and how I made it. I do get a lot of questions about that coat and I will be explaining it away in my next video. <laughs>